A glorious day for all of Earth's citizens and comrades, as Joe Biden's stalwart leadership at the G7, assisted by Captain Blackface, sorry, Justin Trudeau, has really set the world back on course. As you know, the worst thing ever happened. I mean, worse than every atomic bomb ever going off in 2016. Can't even say it. Uh, Donald, uh, you know what? Redacted. Donald Tr Trump, won't even, Trump, I will say Trump. Uh, he was president of the United States. And as you know, this was utter chaos in the international world. Crazy things were happening. Like there was like peace between Israel and Arab countries and Iran stopped funding terrorism because they didn't have the money to do so. And America pushed back against Russian aggression. Um, but this was all really bad. As you know, it's bad because Donald Trump was a pawn of the Russians and could never stand up to the Russians or the Chinese. Now we have Joe. My son definitely didn't take bribes from China, even though there's a laptop proving he took bribes from China, Biden. Um, and he is going to set the, the record straight and he's going to get to the bottom of the coronavirus and Chinese whatever. Now, before I go further in, trigger warning for everyone, I'm going to use some pretty triggering names that I shouldn't be using, um, but just for convenience because not everyone's as progressive we are. So I'm going to be saying China. And everyone knows that when I say China, I really mean Western Taiwan because Ta China is really a province of Taiwan. Um, but I'm just going to pretend that China is a real thing uh, because not as many people know the Western Taiwan right now. So just to, to make it easier. All right. So Joe Biden, peace and blessings be upon him, has set the world straight and we're going to finally stand up to dictatorships. Now, some of you might know that this current coronavirus came out of a place called China. Okay. Now, whose fault is it? Donald Trump's. We know that. But the number one theory that we have to believe, that we're told to believe, was the wet market theory and not the lab leak theory. Now, to be clear, you are racist if you believe in the lab theory. You are supposed to believe the wet market theory, which means everyone in China just will eat rats and bats and cats and pangolins and koala hooves. Whatever is moving, the Chinese are just going to eat it. They're not going to really cook it or clean it. They don't have modern sanitary standards, so they're just eating random wild animals with diseases, and then one of them got sick there. That's the non-racist, purely progressive thing we must believe. Now, there are some fools, people call them scientists who still practice science, um, some absolute fools who said, hey, look at the structure of this virus. Doesn't seem like it came out naturally. Probably was caught, created in the lab. Now, as you know, because you guys are truth seekers like I am, the lab leak hypothesis was debunked thoroughly by the World Health Organization and China. But the World Health Organization is China. So when I say China, I mean China, and China actually means China. So it's all China there. Now, the way they debunked it is they asked the Chinese for access to their data, and the Chinese said, no, no, you cannot have it. And then the World Health Organization is like, well, that makes sense. Thoroughly debunked that then. And then that was what we went through here. And then some people, people, I call them absolute lunatic crazy people who should be banned from the world. Other people call them scientists who do their job. Um, they said, hey, this doesn't add up. So don't worry. Joe Biden will get to the bottom of this because no one just unleashes a global pandemic and Joe Biden will just let them get away with it. That's not Joe Biden. That's not my hero. Joe Biden, the, the most cognitively aware president in the history of planet Earth. No, the universe. Okay? Where am I? What does that child smell like? That is a man. That's a hero. Okay. Now what this man, no hero, no God, demigod. Okay. Not a God, demigod. So what this demigod, an absolute Adonis, mental faculties, sharp as a T, leadership's back. We're getting together with the EU, right? Emmanuel Macron's there. Angela Merkel's getting there. You got a refugee crisis. You got a refugee crisis. Let's hop on and let's go fix the world. Crack, crack, boom. Okay. How are we going to do that? Can we fund Hezbollah here? Maybe later. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to stick it to China. Oh, we're going to stick it to China. So we got a Chinese virus that came out of China in Wuhan province of China. Oh my God. All right. All right. All right. So we, we've pretty much debunked the, the, uh, the wet market theory. Okay. We're 99% sure it came from a lab, but we need to prove it. How do we prove it? <laughs> We're going to ask that the Chinese comply with a new study being done by the World Health Organization. <laughs> Bravo. The World Health Organization, which is basically a province of China at this point, I mean, you could call it Western Taiwan, which has done the bidding of China before, uh, shutting down questions when Taiwan comes up, it has uh, basically pushed the line that there's no human to human transmission in January 2020 to help uh, protect the Chinese interests. The World Health Organization, which is totally in the bed of the Chinese Communist Party anyways, 
We'll do another investigation into the coronavirus, a virus that came out of China in the Wuhan province of China, probably leaked either through incompetence uh, or malfeasance by Chinese scientists in China under the direction of the Communist Party of China in the Wuhan province of China to the rest of the world as a result of the Chinese virus made in China in the Wuhan province of China, which should be called Western Taiwan. Now, who's going to get to the bottom of this? It's going to be China. China will take care of this. Don't worry, guys. Joe Biden and the G7 are here. They're queer. Get used to it. Wrong chant for this month. They're here. Eh, they're probably a little queer. Uh, and you're probably going to have to get used to this type of incompetence. Anyway, so I guess it fits. What they're going to do to stand up for you, because Donald Trump is the stupidest, most evil, know-nothing president of all time. In fact, he should be in jail. I don't know, for hurting my feelings. But Joe Biden will finally do what Donald Trump couldn't do and stand up to China. Donald Trump was doing these things like putting sanctions on China and mobilizing global trade and, and interests against China and standing up to Chinese uh, aggression worldwide. That's not how you stand up to China. You stand up to China like a man, like Joe Biden, by asking China to politely investigate China so China can tell us what to think about China. That's how you stand up for America and the world. Take note, Donald Trump.